What are your expectations right now heading into this new season, preseason, ranked 11th, and just getting ready to get going on Friday? Yeah, I'm just excited to get started. I think preseason stats and, and predictions are they're one thing, but it's not anything that we really focus on. It's nice that we're in the conversation, but really we have a lot of work to do, and we've got a great team to get a lot of good things done with, so I'm excited to get started. Yeah, what have you seen from this group right now? What kind of identity are they starting yeah. to form? You know, we played on Saturday and they showed great fight, um, great resiliency and just that never, never give up attitude. I thought our attack did a really nice job of sharing the ball and, and getting good looks and our defense really stayed together uh, for, for a good part of our scrimmage against Stony Brook. So actually coming out of Saturday, I, I've always been excited to get started, but uh, but they give me even more confidence as we as we look at Elon and our prep preparations this week. Having veterans like Ashlyn and Annie return, especially yep. on the attack, what does that mean for you? for your team just to, to have that veteran front up there. Absolutely, to have returning players that have been there, done that, um, and really found ways to excel is always a great thing for the team. I think uh, the younger kids are also really pushing the older kids to, to bring their best and to compete and practice every day. So it's a full complement from those who have experience to those who are new to the game. And that energy, you can you can just feel it with everything we're doing. So it, we're in a good spot right now. Talking about the, those newcomers now, What's, uh, who are some that we should be looking out for this year? Who might be playing a big role? First year's Rachel Clark um, is a true attacker. Uh, she scored, you know, seven goals against uh, Stony Brook on Saturday. Just can get to the goal in a million different ways and has a release that's just vicious. Um, and Kate Miller is a true lefty, another attacker. Uh, two first years that really add a lot of punch to that attack. Uh, they keep the ball moving. They share it really well. But they're they're good on a cut. They're good on a dodge. Um, and they're going to only get better with games. You also have a new goalie. You haven't. You've had a returning goalie for. The past couple of years and new one with the transfer talk just talk about that and getting acclimated through being a transfer as well all right absolutely Ashley Ashley Vernon just came to us in January so as gay as classes were starting Ashley was moving into her new her new living situation so she's done a great job she's she's fitting in well she's con contributing in lots of different ways on the field and off the field as well but she had a, just a breakout day on Saturday so I think she ended up with about 15 saves um, just showed great athleticism great resiliency and she hadn't played in almost a year um, and so it's just good to get her back in that fold. New but not so new, having Coach right. here back on your uh, staff, yep. having had so much experience working with Virginia Lacrosse, what is that like working with her again and having her contribute to this group? Having Colleen back has been has been great. I mean she's spitfire um, and she's competitive and she knows what she's doing and she really demands a lot out of the players and they've all responded really well so to get my best friend back is really nice. We had a five-year layoff um, so it feels new in some ways but it also feels like we've been through every every possible scenario in the past so uh, I'm excited. I think the team is excited and I think we've all responded really well so that's good to have a little pit bull on the on the coaching staff. Has it have you prepped what's going to happen when you guys go down to Duke at the end of the season when she's going to have to face against her daughter. That's right. I mean, there's a couple of challenges. I'll play my daughter in Stanford, and she'll play her daughter at Duke. So it'll be interesting. But we've got a lot of games before both of those happen. Um, so really, we're going to focus on, on on just winning every game that we can. Um, and if it's against our kid, we want them to play well in a losing effort. What's been the, the focus through the fall, or what's going to be the biggest step forward you think this team will take from last year? Oh, I think we we're 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 hungry. I think uh, we return a lot of players that are that are unsatisfied with our finish last year. I think we came against a Notre Dame team in that second round, that round of 16, that that got the better of us. So I think everyone wants to push forward. We want to get back to a Final Four. We want to compete for ACC championships, um, and I think we have the team that that can do it. So again, that veteran leadership coming back that that is unsatisfied um, and incredibly motivated from that. And then the younger kids who are a little bit naive who are like, I'll do what you do. So. It's kind of a good blend, and again, we have great leaders at the top that are really driving that.